Lazoro Mabura Mashauri is the breadwinner of his family. His wife stays at home taking care of the children while he is out fishing or doing activities related to fishing. He believes the time to upgrade his business is now. Maisha yangu kwa kweli kwa ni mabaya sana kwa sababu nilikuwa sijapata uelewa wa kutunza fedha zangu. Kwa sababu zamani nilikuwa nafanya kazi sijui ninachokifanya ni nini. Small and medium-sized enterprises, SMEs, are increasingly being recognized as key drivers of economic growth and development for African countries. The informal sector in Tanzania is estimated to comprise 3 million enterprises. They provide approximately 48% of GDP, create close to 36% of total employment, and, if taxed, could have contributed 18% of tax revenue in 2011-2012. Sylvia Everest Doto is a wife, a mother, and an entrepreneur running a sardine business in Mwanza. The well-being of her children and husband depends greatly on how well her business does. Apart from being responsible for school fees for her children, her family looks up to her for their everyday needs. It is for this very reason she is doing everything she can to make her business successful. She believes that her business is her way out of poverty. Nilikuwa nikifanya biashara ya dagaa lakini sikujua faida yake. Kwa hiyo nilikuwa nikiuza dagaa kabla sijamaliza mzigo, tayari ile pesa nakuwa nimeshaimaliza. Kwa hiyo sikujua kutunza fedha, kutunza mtaji na kujua ni faida ni ngapi. Although the informal sector constitutes a vibrant economic force in Tanzania, most SMEs remain small and almost half of the new businesses close within one year of commencing operation. This is mainly due to a lack of capital, a lack of basic business planning and entrepreneurial skills, limited information on sources of materials, market operation and or competitors, and a limited knowledge regarding legal, regulatory and taxation policies. As a mother, a wife and a businesswoman with drive, Grace Augustino Combo strives to better her life and the lives of her children by using her fish business to cultivate her personal advancement while reducing the financial burden on her husband. Mtaji wangu mimi nilianza na laki milioni moja na laki tano. Kipindi hicho nilikuwa sijapata nini mafunzo. Lakini badae nilivo kuenda in an effort to solve the existing challenges faced by Lazaro, Silvia and Grace, and many other entrepreneurs running small to medium-sized enterprises, the government of the United Republic of Tanzania, via the Ministry of Finance, developed a capacity-building project with support with the Investment Climate Facility for Africa, ICF. And so uh, our role as ICF uh, was to work with government to build the capacity of 500 uh, small entrepreneurs. Uh, this was really a pilot uh, to help uh, both ICF and the government of Tanzania to learn how the kind of problems that these small enterprises face uh, and then to help them get to a stage where they could formalize the businesses. The intention of this initiative was to build the capacities of SMEs in Tanzania in order to enable their transition from the informal sector to the formal sector. This involved developing a small enterprise, business management and entrepreneurial skills training program focused on tailored technical support through financial education and mentoring in business skills. The ministry contracted the Eastern Southern African University Research Program, ESARP, to provide a training, mentoring and support program to implement the initiative. The main issue which comes out of this project is how do you get new sources for revenue growth and we put up a book called the um, Why Pay Tax which attracted the government because in the book we are saying these are the areas which you haven't tapped before. The project was launched as a pilot with focus on the retail trade, services and fisheries sector in Dar es Salaam and Mwanza. A particular emphasis was placed on involving women entrepreneurs who have in the past been less able than men either to obtain basic business training or access finance. For the mother and entrepreneur that Eli Bamponda is, acquiring enough money to send her children to good schools is why she wakes up every morning. 
nafuga bata na bata 15 nina nguru ya 50 nina ngombe 56 nilisikia wakati tukua kule kitunda ndio tukija kuandikishwa na watu wa ESAP the participants were drawn from Dar es Salaam and Mwanza where they were selected from people who had responded to initial publicity of the opportunity that the numbers involved were 350 people in Dar es Salaam and 150 people in Mwanza the time frame for the training sessions was 10 days in both locations. Tulikuwa tunawachagua kulingana na malengo ya mradi wenyewe. Kwa sababu mradi ulikuwa na lengo la kuwakuza kibiashara ili waweze kukua, wabadilishe wahami kutoka kwenye biashara zisizo rasmi kuingia kwenye biashara rasmi. Kwa hiyo tulikuwa tunaangalia wale ambao wamejiajiri na wameajiri wengine, wale ambao wana sehemu maalum za kufanyia biashara zao wale ambao wanajua kusoma na kuandika na wale ambao wanaendesha biashara wakiwa nje ya mfumo rasmi Halima Ibrahim is an independent woman and an entrepreneur who took on the boutique clothing business hoping to improve her daily life She believes her business will take good care of her if she takes good care of her business Maisha kwa upanongo umeendelea vizuri sana baada ya kuingia katika kikundi Katika hali ile kwa unao mwanzo na sasa hivi Ni tofauti sana. Sana, yani mikuja juu. Kwa mimi naiona iko juu. The modality of the training involved the delivery of lectures, group discussions, exercises, case studies, presentations, guest speakers and sharing experiences amongst the participants. Wali walielezwa hivyo kwamba wakiunda vikundi na faida zake wakaelezwa na impact yake tuliona baada ya mafunzo. Kwa hiyo baada ya mafunzo nilishangaa kwamba wao wenyewe washiriki walikutana pale pale na kuform vikundi na actually mpaka sasa hivi wana nyakati fulani fulani wanakuja kukutana kwenye eneo letu kwa ajili ya kujadili vikundi vyao na jinsi gani waviendeshe e, kwenye mafunzo ambayo tulijifunza kweli kabisa tulipomaliza kujifunza mafunzo baada hapo tulitengeneza vyama na mpaka sasa tuna kikundi ambacho ni kizuri tu tunakopeshana tunarudisha kwa riba ina maana tunakizungusha kile kikundi chetu kwa ajili ya kukiendeleza zaidi sasa walifundishwa umuhimu wa kuwa process katika hali ya usafi halafu na kuwa, kuwa kutafuta eh, kifungashio kizuri ambacho kile sasa huwa kinaongeza thamani katika kuuza product zao lesson kubwa mfano katika hii project ukiangalia katika tafiti ambayo iliyofanyika iligundua kuna maelezo makubwa sana ya upatikanaji wa mikopo kwa katika design ya mradi ilikuja ikaangalia kwamba lengo kubwa iwe ni kuwasaidia wajasiriamali waweze kufikia huduma za fedha. Mfano kwa upande wa benki ya wanawake. Benki ya wanawake imetoa mikopo zaidi ya milioni 200. Hiyo isingewezekana ndani ya kipindi kifupi cha miezi minne ukaweza kutoa hela nyingi kiasi hicho. Na watu ambao wameweza kupata ni zaidi ya watu 200. Mafunzo tulivyokuwa tunafundisha pale yalituhimiza sana yalionyesha umuhimu wa kuweza kuwa na kikundi ambacho kwamba mnashirikiana na saidiana kimawazo na kiutaaluma katika taaluma zetu za ujasiriamali kwa sababu tuna taaluma mbalimbali kuna hii ya batiki kuna sabuni za maji na kuna usindikaji wa vyakula kwa sasa tukaona kwamba tukijumuika pamoja tunaweza kuwa na nguvu moja na tukafanya kitu kinacholeta maendeleo kwa ujasiriamali kwenye mafunzo ya hapo nimejifunza namna ya utafutaji namna ya kuinua akili yangu kufikiria kingine zaidi ya kile cha chini namna ya kutafuta mbinu kubwa ya juu kuliko ile lilokuwa nao ya chini nimejifunza jinsi ya uhifadhi hesabu katika biashara yangu unaofanya hata kama ikiwa na thamani ndogo si lazima hiyo ya milioni ya pesa hata shilingi 100 na nimejifunza nijue mimi nini natumia shilingi ngapi nini naweka katika biashara nimejifunza kwamba biashara na mimi ni watu wawili tofauti si account yangu binafsi ndio ikawa account ya biashara account ya biashara ni nyingine pesa ya biashara nyingine pesa matumizi ni nyingine faida yangu ni nyingine pia nimejifunza katika biashara mimi mwenyewe nahitaji kujilipa pamoja na biashara yangu sio natumia tu to me uh, this is this this was uh, this is the, the, the whole idea of giving these people confidence to, in order to run their own businesses we see the companies are registered uh, the forming associations they are even going to the banks they are borrowing money without collateral which is unheard of uh, so i put this together and uh, give it a word confidence in business unajua sisi wa Tanzania hatujui 
Tunafanya biashara tu unakurupuka bila kujua. Ile kozi imesaidia inamuelimisha mtu namna ya kufanya biashara, namna ya utakapoendelea kibiashara. Na una, unakutana na wenzio wengi. Mwenzio amefuga hiki na mwenzio anafanya biashara hii mna badilishana mawazo. Ah uh, kulingana na mafunzo tuliyopata, kitu cha kwanza kilichotufanya kwamba tu mpaka tumefika hapo. Mafunzo yale yalituelekeza namna ya matumizi ya fedha pamoja na namna ya uanzishaji wa vikundi na ma, na upanuaji wa mitaji. Na tulianza kwa shilingi 1013 na mpaka sasa hizi Mungu saidia tunakimbilia kwenye milioni mbili na point. Now the, the project has had a, a great success but there is no project that ICF gets involved in that doesn't have problems. There are many of the registration procedures and the tax registration procedures remain cumbersome and and problematic. But it's a start and I think that with the 500 small and medium sized enterprises that we have worked with there has been great learning on all sides. And I think we have taken all these on board we undertook a study with the University of Dar es Salaam to understand these problems better and as we are going into phase 2 of the project in a much bigger way with many more entrepreneurs these specific issues will be addressed with government Lakini sasa hivi na mimi nasomesha na jidai Mr akiniambia nani mtoto hana karo namwambia kuna shida shilingi ngapi natoa kwanza sasa hizi nimeshajua mimi mwenyewe nina mshahara wangu katika biashara yangu nina mshahara wangu nalipo afanya kazi wangu mimi ningeiomba HESAP haya mafunzo asiishie mwanza tu. Awaendelee kufanya haya mafunzo nchi nzima. E, kwa jamii nyingine kweli ningependa nao wangeipata ile elimu kwa sababu ni elimu nzuri ambayo ukiipata hata kama wewe ni maskini itakufanya kuishi. There has been lessons from this project. The one is that uh, the issue of cooperation between the small and medium enterprises with the government so this has been a good lesson the whole concept of partnership between the government between ICF and between the entrepreneurs made the project a really a powerful and more impactful this part of the project was successful from its design and implementation i would like to see many businesses in Tanzania to get the same opportunity to grow what we can take out of this experience is that the informal sector is indeed capable of becoming formalized and contributing to the economy. If more attention is given to capacity building projects such as this one, we can expect a significant improvement in the nation's economy and to the lives of many Tanzanians.